Andrew, it's Coach Gurney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you pitching on Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. And we've got two angles here. We've got a rear angle to the right, and we've got a first base side view angle on the left. And we're going to go through this in slow motion to see if there's any areas for improvement. Up front, I will say you're a very fluid, athletic pitcher with a great deal of upside potential. I think not only can you have a tremendous high school career, but I do expect that you'll pitch in college if you stay healthy and pay attention to your academic responsibilities. And as we play this, we see that you start with your hands in the zipper position. You do drop them a little bit as you start to pivot. And then as we pivot and get that left foot parallel to the rubber and move towards our balance point, you do an excellent, excellent job here of getting knee above waist and having no tension in the delivery. So this foot and leg dangle with no tension, and that's the goal. So excellent, excellent work here. Now I do want to point out that you sometimes will lean back towards the third base side. And if you look to the frame to the left, you can see that you're leaning back towards that third base coaching box. And then as you get to the high cocking or flexed bow position, you get into a very good, what we call, inverted W right here. Okay, so that you're in what we call the inverted W or flexed bow position, also known as the high cocking position. I think you do an outstanding job here. I do think you can extend your stride four to six inches, and that will ultimately get you a little more velocity, and I think it will actually help you work down in the strike zone. So think about extending that right leg stride. As we continue, we see that you do a pretty good job here, although I would like to see you tuck that glove. Look where your glove is. Your glove is by your right quadricep or your hip area when really it should be tucked under that right armpit. And lastly, as we follow through, it's very important that we get a flat back finish and extension here. I feel like you do a nice job of posting up over that right leg. And on the frame to your right, I think you do a good job of finishing in a flat back posture. The one to the left, I feel like we could get a little bit more flat back in our release, but you're in an outstanding fielding position to receive a comebacker from a batter. And what we're going to do now, Andrew, is play this full speed so you can get a sense of what you are like in real time through your delivery. But on the whole, you're very fluid. It's pretty much a tension-free delivery. My only real concerns are you falling back towards the third base coaching box, not tucking that glove, and perhaps getting a little bit more of a lengthy stride, which would maximize your velocity. So here we go, watching you release in full speed. So excellent, fluid, compact delivery. Keep up the great work, and I look forward to watching you progress through high school into your college years.